the White House now, where President Trump is pushing hard for tax cuts ahead of today's crucial vote in the House. In an interview overnight, he struck an optimistic note. I think the House is looking really good. You know, they're passing this bill along very rapidly. In fact, that's going to happen hopefully today. And I did make a couple of calls. I said, fellas, please, no changes. Just pass it along. We have to get tax cuts. Let's bring in our senior White House correspondent, Cecilia Vegan. Cecilia, President optimistic there, but we're already seeing a tug of war over 401ks. Yeah, George, but sp so sources that I've spoken to on Capitol Hill are not as optimistic as the president on this one. The president has said definitively there will be no changes to your 401k. But the top Republican on Capitol Hill, the person writing this tax reform plan, says no. Actually, there could be some changes under consideration, some sharp limits to what employees can contribute to their retirements. Here at the White House yesterday, President Trump seemed to muddy the waters yet again. He said actually 401ks could be used as a negotiating tool as Republicans are uh, debating and, and trying to figure out how to pay for his tax reform plan. The big deal right now, George, President Trump needs Republicans in order to pass this, but he's already alienated and really frustrated some of his allies on his uh, continual mixed messages on this one. And everyone wants tax cuts, always some differences in how to pay for it, as you say. Meantime, the president can make a major announcement today. He's been previewing for some time an, an emergency on the opioid crisis, but there's some nuance there. Yeah, you know, this is something that he campaigned on. He first promised to declare a national uh, emergency on this months ago. Sources here at the White House tell us that today the president will deliver uh, what's being billed as a pretty big address on this topic. But but he's not expected to declare the more sweeping national health emergency. He's going to call this a public health emergency. His own opioid commission had declared, had, had uh, recommended that he use the bigger phrase on this one. Nonetheless, though, George, experts are applauding this as something that is much needed. Needed. Drug overdose is the leading cause of accidental death in this country, and a mo majority of that uh, it relates to opioids. No question, it's a national crisis. Cecilia Vega, thanks very much.